Today we're going to be talking about self-service BI, essentially how do we enable a business analyst to do data discovery and analytics in Hadoop. And specifically we're looking at the Cloudera distribution of Hadoop and a couple of our ecosystem partners around there. Uh, in this particular demo today, we're going to highlight software and application packages from Trifacta and Tableau operating in concert with the Cloudera distribution of Apache Hadoop. So just think about this at the beginning. The, the community we're looking at right here are data analysts. These are individuals who understand their data. They understand how to access their data, but they typically have a set of workflows that operate against that, which is not going to involve things like scripting languages. So these are folks who will be creating reports and discovering what's going on within the data. Uh, they can even be creating business models off of that data using SQL-based tools. They can be using uh, more statistical analysis packages like SAS, R. They could be potentially writing Python against that. Um, and also getting to the point where having all of this data together, they're actually creating applications that use that data. But one of the big barriers to that is getting the data together. And so if you look at this, it's a very iterative process of, you know, the data gets generated, then I want to bring the data into the cluster. I may already have data that's in the cluster, so I need to find that. And quite a bit, we're creating these specific sets of records that are purpose-built for the types of analytics that we're doing. And a majority of the analyst time is around this data preparation side. Uh, it's getting the data in, it's figuring out what it is, it's going through and creating transformations on that data so that you can do the other piece of this, which is applying the analytics techniques. And so that whether that's something as, as straightforward as a SQL-based, or it gets more into uh, the you know, data science-y kind of thing. So again, we're looking at these application packages on top of this, where you're writing R, you're writing Python, you're using SAS, uh, or other tool sets against that, that you can create and understand what's going on in the data. And so for the, the, the data analyst, one of the big problems they have is how do they get that data in and how do they make it usable for their, uh, their particular uh, question they want to ask against the data. So what we're going to show you today is more of a, a self-service kind of workflow. And again, a lot of the heavy lifting on here is going in as we bring data in to the cloud area distribution of Apache Hadoop. We're going to do a, some wrangling of the data on there. So we'll start by bringing the data in. We'll use uh, an upload method of bringing it into HDFS. Then we'll go ahead and do some transformation on this and visually interact with the data. Uh, and so the important part here is we're not expecting that our analyst community is going to have a great deal of understanding about how to write scripts and, and change this, but they are going to have a very good understanding of what the data is and what they need it to look like so that they can then go ahead and do that sort of analyst. So the, the piece here, we're going to load it into HDFS. We're going to use Trifacta to prepare the data. We're going to write that data back to HDFS. So now that's part of the data assets that we have within the repository. And then we're going to put a, a BI tool on top of this. And in today's demo, we're going to put uh, and use Tableau for that and its integration in with Impala, which is part of the Cloud Area distribution of Apache Hadoop. So with that, hop over here into the demo section up here. So what you see up here right now, this is Cloud Era Manager. It's telling us a little bit about the health and allows us to manage the, the cluster. We'll come back to this as I show some of the performance pieces off of this. Um, this is Navigator in here with our ability to do data lineage uh, and to manage the data that's within the, the repository. Uh, this is the Hue, the Hadoop user experience, uh, where we're going to interact with this. We're going to actually upload this in this final screen over here. This is going to be Trifacta. Um, so the first thing I want to do as an analyst is I want to find data that I already have. And so if I'm here at the Acme Corporation, thank you, Roadrunner, uh, then I'm going to go, I'm going to say I'm, I want to find my Acme POS. So I'm going to start a search here uh, looking for Acme and POS within the repository. And I get lots and lots of choices uh, as we find these different files that have been brought there, directories, things that contain data on here. One of the nice things about uh, Cloudera Navigator is it gives you the ability to create tagging and policies on top of this data. And so here at the Acme Corporation, we have a methodology 
that says as data is uh, certified for use in analytics, we actually use the certified tag on that. So you can see over here on the left-hand side, I have a whole series of tags. I actually could have searched just for certified, but I'm going to go here and add that into my faceted search, and it comes up with a set of results. So this is my Acme POS and inventory. It's the 2012-2013 sequence on that. And I get a little feel for here of what the lineage, how did this data come together? So I can see that we had a POS table. We created a table on top of that. We merged in inventory. Uh, this is fairly frequent where you'll have sales data and inventory data. But you have inventory where there weren't sales. Um, and believe it or not, in retail, you actually can have sales where you didn't have inventory. And those are just reporting systems. So they get merged together with a double outer join here, and I finally have my table that I want to use for analytics. And so let's imagine in this particular case that my analyst wants to bring new data. They said, all right, I've got my sales and inventory data that's sitting out here, and we used to have a way that we analyze that data. We used to have a product segmentation, but our company is evolving, and we're changing our product segments. And so I want to see what my historical sales patterns would look like if I applied new segmentation to that data. So my analyst is going to come over here, and we're going to, in queue, the Hadoop user experience, we're going to upload data. I'm going to, I have a file that I've created, and I want to bring that up into HDFS. So for my upload button, I'm going to go choose files. Again, if you can upload a picture to Facebook, you can upload data into HDFS. So I select my, my product dimension new segments, I hit the big old upload button, and yay, I've now uploaded data into Hadoop. Now I need to make that data usable, and this is really where this tool set here from Trifacta, they're one of our partners, uh, has, is going to help us to create a workflow that a business analyst can do. So this is somebody who has the ability clearly to use a web browser, uh, potentially to use SQL-based tools on this, um, but with this web browser, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to create a brand new project for this. So over here under my create new project, um, I'm going to say I want to use a data set in HDFS. I'll go find my new data set that I just uploaded right here, my new product segments. I'm going to create a name for this, which is going to be, you know, dim fraud new seg. Uh, I'm a great typer, new segments, segments. And I could put a description over here. That's kind of a best practice. Uh, just so later I can figure out what it was that I was doing with this. And I'm going to go ahead and create a project down here. So now I'm going to wrangle this file. A wrangling is essentially visual transformation of the data. And again, it presents this to the analyst in an interface where they can see the data. And using machine learning, it's actually looking at this file, it's imputing some things out of this, and it's helping me as an analyst to create this script over here. So that file was tab delimited, um, and it had a header in there. So immediately when Trifactor looked at this, it said, hey, you know, this kind of looks like it's tab limited. It looks like it has a header here. So I'm going to put a header on this, and I'm going to go ahead and script all these pieces here. Anything that I don't like or want from this, I can actually very quickly undo. So if that wasn't a header, I could go here and step through the script, uh, and now it puts it back out there and step back into it again to say, yes, I really want to accept that as a header. It's also because we're going to later create something in the H catalog so I can use this from a tool like a Tableau. Um, it's creating data types on here. It's putting naming conventions around this. So I can look here. I could go through and rename these. And it's also highlighting some things here with the data quality bar. So as it started to look at this data that was in here, in this particular one, it said, hey, I've got a group code, and these look like numeric values, so I'm going to data type that as numeric. But over here, it's saying, you know what? Something's not quite right on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to click on this, and it's giving me a whole series of suggestions. And the first one here is just only keep the data rows that are mismatched. Uh, as you can see, as you're doing data cleansing, you can keep them, you can reject them. Uh, in this case, it gives me a chance to look at the actual data that's in there. And here I can see a value where it's an integer and an ASCII character together. So this is a string values. And if this is bad data, I could create some data transformations around this. If this is good data, I can actually change my data typing right here uh, and move that saying from a string, that integer over to a string, and all of a sudden it's very happy about this. 
So I, as the analyst, know my data. 7X is actually a valid value for a group code, and therefore I want to maintain and keep that. This isn't something where I have to go back and forth with my ETL team to be able to do my data ingest. Um, I happen to know that I created this file in Excel, uh, and Excel often puts wonky stuff into the file, and in this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for the, the double quotes around this, and sure enough, um, Excel has wrapped this set of values here in quotes. Um, this would make some you know, kind of ugliness when you put it out in reports. I wanna get rid of that. And again, so as an analyst, I'm just able to highlight right over that. It's giving me the suggestion right here and also showing me what it would look like. It's sort of this sort of preview view of this. So, oh, it's gonna take these quotes and it's gonna remove them. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that into my script. And so again, your analyst community has the ability to do some fairly complex transformations around this by visually interacting with the data. Um, and there's also pieces here in the tool that just makes it very easy for you to be able to, to look at what the extreme values are, the unique, the mismatch, and this data profiling that sits within the tool set um, rapidly exposes this and makes it easy to deal with a new file that you're unfamiliar with. So I'm really happy with this file right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out here and run the job in Hadoop. Um, and here you can see it, it's taking advantage of some of the functions that are within uh, the cloud area distribution of Hadoop, like Parquet, uh, one of the projects that we ship in there, which is sort of column or store for data. Uh, and here it's going to run this and uh, pop that out in there. So while it's running out here, I'm gonna go over to a uh, previous execution that I have, um, and we can go ahead and look at what the actual results were of this particular job as we ran it. Um, and a few of my results. And here it's gonna give me some data cleanliness, sort of uh, documentation around it. Did I have any mismatched values? Uh, sort of the data profiles, a nice little histogram here. And because I'm all super happy with this, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing out into the, uh, into the H catalog. So Acme, dim, fraud, new segment, and publish this out. And now this will be part of the H catalog and I can go ahead and use my file now with my other file that I had already found out there earlier, uh, which was in the repository. Pick up a BI tool on this one. In this case, we're gonna show this using Tableau, uh, and I'm gonna directly connect into the data that's in uh, the Cloud Area Distribution Apache Hadoop, and we're gonna use Impala, which is that MPP, the Massively Parallel Processing uh, Engine against the, the data. Here. So I'm gonna go select my data type for the cloud area distribution of Hadoop. Go ahead and punch in where my uh, Impala nodes are and let's get a port of 21050 and say, let's do this in new Impala. So connecting live into Hadoop, let's select our schema. We're gonna go into um, the Acme schema. So again, I'm still a business analyst and in here I wanna to start to look at the table names. Now these tables are sort of manifest out here in a way that an analyst is familiar to use those. They took that, uh, the pro new product segments here, I can double click that and add that into Tableau. Uh, and I'm gonna take my POS inventory table, which I found earlier, and we're gonna add that in as well. And so using Impala now, it's, it's joining that data together. It's chosen to do an inner join, I like that. So my item numbers join up on item numbers. Fantastic, and I'm gonna go over here now to the worksheet. So my original hypothesis as a business analyst was how did my new segmentation, so we look at our groups here, how did this change the way that we look at our data? Um, and I can now run these new product segments that are loaded up here, and let's do this on our sales and currency against that data. And now I have my new file joined here with my facts, which were pre-existing, and I can start to do my reporting, my data discovery, and uh, let's make something pretty out of this. Let's get a nice, there we go. Nice, pretty visualization of our data. Oh yeah, one other cool thing here. Let me just uh, hop over back to here. So I said Cloud Era Manager, it's kind of cool. You know, this really helps you manage and maintain the cluster. You can actually also on here, off of uh, Impala, we can actually look at the query that was created through Tableau. So all this is being managed and maintained. And so now I can see, you know, that it had here my Acme DIM product new segments uh, joined up against the Acme POS. And here is the actual syntax of the statement that ran in Impala. 
So this gives me a lot of both the ability to monitor and maintain this, but I can also see the stack and segments around that. And so there it is, uh, BI self-service, where a business analyst, without writing a single line of script, was able to create a data file, bring it into the cluster, mash that up with data that they already had in the cluster, and they were able to find that using Navigator, uh, query that using Impala through a standard BI tool like a Tableau, 